vibe, man. And then I was like, Let's see what's going on. It was just Bad. shot clock two minutes ago. Oh yeah, you definitely just took some shots. Uh, we got 20 comfort foods around the world. My my cats. Yeah. Sure. It's still there. Don't worry. It's still there. Uh, grab your food, y'all. Yeah. Oh shit. Yes, sir. We about to tune in. Niggas smacking. No meals. Liquor. We about to be. What you call? Oh, what you call? Um, starving, nigga. Nah, but what's that? What's that word called? What's that? What's that word that Belize be using? Will you, will you get your head immersed? Head immersed. We about to get immersed. I ain't. Oh, look, I heard of that. I'm about to get it from you. Subscribe, Did comment, for all that. Again, uh, we about to happen to these foods. If you, if you mess with these food videos, let us know down below. We'll do more of them. Suggest more that y'all want. Uh, let's do this though. I'm very interested, intrigued to see what. Check out going on. So that's a healthy. Go watch in the other stuff. stressful and uncertain times of quarantine. quarantine. People from all over the world are seeking comfort in food. Comfort food can fix any Shut bad day. Jordan's behind it. Are seeking comfort in say. food. SBs comfort food thing. can fix any bad day. It's typically high in sugar, uh, fat, sugar. and or salt. And the beauty of comfort balls. food is that it varies from person to person. It's pizza. rooted in where you're from and who you grew up with. We asked 20 people from different cultural backgrounds to share what comfort food okay. is to them. I'll start with mine. My favorite comfort food is kimchi jjigae or kimchi stew. I'm Korean American and growing up my mom made kimchi jjigae pretty often for dinner. My mom's tofu. kimchi jjigae has that sunma. Sunma oh, in Korean this, this. means like ham. That shit is not pleasing to me. I've had it before in a sauce and it dead ass tasted like pork. I'm not even going to front. Well, that shit tasted like you had it straight. Pudding gelatin. Cause you had it straight in a soup. You, you have it um. Yeah, it's quiet. That shit was nasty. You gotta have it. I don't even know if you could you could cook that. Right? Tasted like nothing. You season it. Cook it. Trust me. Making it crispy. Bite Put it. Put a double on it. Right. Ew. <laughs> no. Not even a double to save that. I had a shorty try to make some tofu. Shit did not come out man. At all. I might be one of my dislikes, not gonna lie. And taste, the best way I can describe it is my mom's special touch. Even if I try to make my mom's kimchi chicken here in New York City, I can't get that taste because it lacks my mom's special touch. So basically the flavors that you're getting are like spicy, salty, fatty, sour. It's basically everything that I crave when I'm missing my mom. I'm Nigerian and one of my favorite comfort foods has to be amala and okra soup. To make it, you take some yam flour and you Our pour place. it into boiling hot water, stir it up very quickly and it gets- Can I just say that? You know what this I is? I mean, they can say okra, but okra, okra, whatever, that shit. Ugh. That shit's slimy. What is it? I don't like, like, I'm a texture person, it's so it's fish? quiet. No, it's like not it. fish, it's like a little green fucking, I'm pretty sure it's like what, like a vegetable plant, yeah. Mm, I've heard of it. I mean, I've heard of it, but I never even came across it. It gets to this nice thick consistency. From there, you portion it That's out it? to whatever size you'd like for your meal, and then you can dip it into your super That's choice. Right. And not only is it a super That's tasty meal, thing. but after you eat it, it hits you, and it puts you in one of those nice food comas. I remember sneaking into the kitchen as a toddler and trying to tear off small pieces of amala or like the ear seeds that they put in the soup and taking it back to my playroom. Um, so of course now, any time that I have it, I just automatically think of home. I'm Trinidadian. My favorite comfort food is bacon saltfish. Bacon saltfish is a dish comprised of bacon, which is dough rolled out. Wait, what's that? And you never had saltfish before? Mm. You never had saltfish before? Is that like, is that like, um, like, bacalao? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That shit is fucked. Bacalao, bacalao. That shit, I ain't gonna lie, when I was younger, I ain't like it. I used to cut niggas' ass. That shit to smell wicked, That bro. shit really slap if it's made the right way. Nah, yeah. But while, yeah, while it's being like boiled in the water, water, that shit stink. Right. Ackee and saltfish. I guess. I've well, had saltfish before. You had some ackee and saltfish? I never had ackee before. I won't be trying to give it to him like I'm straight. No, I don't even fuck with eggs. It's just like eggs. It's the, the, the texture is just, ugh. Fish called bacalao. It's a salted cod that we catch up and boil and we saute yeah. with yeah, Spanish people sweet be tomatoes that shit. and sweet onions. Yeah, that right, shit that's made, like that, that's that's made like that is fire. Made like that is fire. Because fun. it brings back a memory of my grandmother. She used to that's own a daycare and whenever she was making something with dough, like bake, she would roll up 
little pieces of the dough and give it to the children to play with. And we would just go crazy for those little pieces of dough. My favorite Haitian comfort food is Grillo. Grillo is fried pork shoulder that has a special cut where it has like just the right amount of fat and just the right amount of skin on it. You would season it well, bake it briefly, and then fry it. So after that, it'll get that nice crispy on the outside oh, and then it taste. I, I remember that. being a child, you know, every Haitian gathering, family party. If you had grill on your plate that night, <laughs> what? you, you knew it was going to be good. Party. Bro, that's how you gotta season your shit, bro. Get your shit, shit right. Tastes dirt. I you don't understand. Like it, you don't understand, bro. Down. You could. You don't even have to eat the onions and the, after, and bro. The but when you exactly, like, extra flavors, the garlic, peppers. Yeah, I don't fuck with onions either, but you gotta cook with it. Nah, bro, you gotta hear us. You gotta onions. season your shit up with that. Mm, crazy. Mm, mm, mm. Niggas know. No. <laughs> My comfort food has always been pasta, which is like a really unhealthy version of Italian wedding soup. That it has no vegetables, it's really just pasta and meatballs. So the way that my mom makes her meatballs is really what I always crave. She does a mix of pork, of ground pork, ground beef, like and ground veal. And then she adds in just five ingredients. Beef? So the five pork, of ground pork, ground beef, and ground veal. And then she adds in just five ingredients. So the five ingredients are salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley, and Maybe cheese. It's parsley. not just like Parmesan cheese, it's always Pecorino Romano cheese. That's like the go-to key I mean, ingredient. Bad. Whenever I go home or whenever I'm like sad or sick, oh, that's, whenever, that's, that's what I want my mom to make me, or that's what I like want to eat. I'm from New York and my favorite comfort food is- What's up? Yo, 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 she got it. Nah, she got to yeah. come in clutch. She got to come in clutch. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck! If she was born, she about to say what she about to say. She was born here. Wait, 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 wait. If it's some comfort food niggas is making, what can she make? Bro, what? That's what I'm saying. What is New York? Nah, yeah, she's about to make this. Yeah, make a chop cheese. That's all I can really that's say. That's not comfort food. That's nah. deli food. That's comforting to me though. Nah, I feel you though. <laughs> that's nah, not really why you. not chop cheese be dust me off right now. Why, nigga? I'm, I'm gonna gonna sleep I'm after that. that. <laughs> I hope she don't make no super American shit like a make burger and fries. I'm gonna be like, yo, bro, what the fuck? You're from New York, not the rest of the USA. You're about to see. That's what I like. Want to eat? I'm from New York, and my favorite comfort food is grilled cheese. <laughs> I am out of it, bro. I am out of it. Did she just say a grilled cheese, bro? <laughs> she said, nah, nah, nah. Is that why that. in the other video they said, oh, American schools, grilled cheese? Bro, niggas do not. <laughs> bro, that's not a delicacy here. <laughs> bro. Yo, where did my mother fuck the grilled cheese, man? Yo, What's with that? I just got me tight. Why she said that? Well, she said she's from New York, too, right? Bro. Yeah, she baited. 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 You might have to pull up. Uh, nah, nah, he's done. But stay where you are. Grilled cheese. Nah, I'm talking to him. Oh. Grilled cheese. Nah, yeah. Bro. Grilled cheese is crazy. She baited the whole like. She's not from New York. What she's from like kid? Buffalo and shit. You, you need to grow up. Watch this be the easiest thing to make on this whole shit. Bro, she from Buffalo. Watch. I'm like sad or sick or whatever. Is that a clock? I want my mom to make me, or that's what I like want to eat. I'm from New York, and my favorite comfort food is grilled cheese. Growing up as a patient, she baited. Yeah, that was real. That's really nice. I could get from every single family member and yeah, every single restaurant, and it'd be almost the exact same every single <laughs> time. Tomatoes. So today, when I make those treats for myself, I just use white and wheat bread, and I use you're making us look bad. White yeah. and yeah. Fuck you. Nah, yeah, yeah you're making us look and terrible. And being best friends with my mom. I'm Allison Brown, and um, today we're going to talk about beef patties. You already know. My beef favorite patties? Food. Growing up, my father used to bring home like a fry. Dumb shit, slap with the cocoa bread. Oh, no! no! First come, first serve. If you did not get your beef patty, you'd be tight. Um, you be tight. She from New York too. She you know. Her. You could get a beef patty, a kalaloo patty, an acu patty, any type of patty. My family is Jamaican. Um, <laughs> I can tell you something. I was born here, but like, when we go to Jamaica, look, look, look. What she just said? You could get a beef patty, That's why she said I'm tight. Patty, she, she definitely from the town. Yeah, yeah, you can tell yeah, the yeah, difference yeah, between yeah. New York and Philly. Yeah, any type of patty. My family is Jamaican. Um, they're from Jamaica. I'm American. I was born here. But like, when we go to Jamaica, right, it's over. Oh, the patties are like hot and ready. They're delicious. I'm from New York. Yeah, you hit me. And my favorite color is yeah. 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 It's not New York. It's not New York. It's like, it's fried cheese at homie. But that, hmm. That's a problem. That meal That's right there. That meal. Yo. That shit looks dumb good. If he made that, he finessed that. Because that shit looked dumb good. Crazy. 
That shit is cold. Oh, the fried cheese back there. My fault, homie. I ain't seeing my fault. My fault. That shit is good right there. That's how them niggas make it, dude. Look up. Nah, that shit is fire. Man, I was eating. Like mashed potatoes, but instead of potatoes, it's plantains. And it's a breakfast food, so most Dominicans will eat it in the morning. Angul is typically eaten with cebollas on top, which is onions, uh, queso frito on the side, which is fried cheese, mm. salami, which is a type of meat, and usually, like, some people will get a fried egg on it. Personally, I love eggs, so I always get it on it. The reason why angul is my favorite comfort food, besides the fact that it's delicious, is because it just reminds me of being in the Dominican Republic and just, like, being around great weather, I'm not Dominican, sunny, but that shit like just an all around great vibe. My comfort food is pepper pork. It came from Diana's first people known as the mm. Amorindians. Pepper pork is a meal that is boiled I look like, I look like stew chicken with some bread. Pepper pork is a meal that is boiled casserole and spices of any choice of meat. Yeah, she just but put mad browning sauce on her shit. Yeah, that's definitely some definitely some stew chicken type shit. She just put mad browning on her shit. Just dump that bitch. <laughs> no browning this. The 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 sauce she just used nah what like what like what's in it nah. I know what it is, nah, but yeah, I don't know what's in it. My personal favorite is beef. It can be eaten with anything: bread, cassava bread, like rice, and beef. Why? Beef stew. It reminds me of Christmas time and all the family time and our rich culture in the. Yeah. Oh, my favorite right, 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 right. is kanji, a type of rice porridge. It's often eaten with that looks like rice, rice porridge. That looks like rice, rice porridge pudding. Is crazy. <laughs> Rice okay. porridge, I've never heard of that. I've heard of porridge, I don't think it's no porridge. It's too much water in her. I'm sorry, I know this. It's like rice porridge. It's often eaten with yaozha guai, also known as a Chinese donut. There are also many different types of kanji. I've had it plain, with dried scallops, um, with preserved it like egg. And the texture that it looked like right there when she tried to eat it, it like grits. Yeah, it looks solid there. Yeah, like it dried up. Mm hmm. Plain with dried scallops, like sticky rice. Um, with preserved egg and salted pork, and just white fish. Growing up, my mom would make this for breakfast some days, and she That's would also fish, make it for me when I was sick and I couldn't keep fish. any solid foods down. <laughs> my mom passed away in January sure. of 2018, so the process of shit? making kanji. And dedication and her patience as my mother. I'm Mexican American and my favorite comfort Body's food is Puerto oh, Rico is on there. Hear my grandma and her sisters get together and they all make tamales. Nah, the yeah. chicken yeah. tamales is fire. Chicken tamales. You know that's that's chicken that, tamales? That, oh, that's um, it's that's different. Chicken, huh? That's um, probably pork or beef. Yeah. Yeah. But bro, chicken tamales slap, slap. I feel like I have, but them shows are way different when she did it. That shit look like peanut butter, my brother. <laughs> nah, that shit is really, If you never had one like that, I got, I got a fire spot. Fire Mexican spot. Yeah, <laughs> it look like peanut butter. Nah, it look like peanut butter. <laughs> word. It look like dough. It look like cookie dough without the nah, chips. Nah, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> nah, I know it probably tastes OD though, but that shit doesn't look like peanut butter. That shit cooked in a leaf. Nah, that shit cooked. And they all make tamales for us to eat on mm. Christmas Eve. So, it's like they put them together. Yeah, it's cooked on a leaf. It's cooked on a leaf. So, it's really special. You gotta unravel the shit. My family makes the dish with shredded pork and eventually sauce with green olives. Basically, right now, only my grandma and my grandma are having it. I love all Spanish really shit. My family makes the dish with shredded pork and a red chili mm. sauce with green olives. Mm. Basically, right now, only my grandma and my aunts know how to make it, but they've started to teach me and my mom it's and my sister how to do it so that way we can pass it on to the next generation. My favorite comfort food is Mama on toast. Yo, that's the. Yo! That's the that's yo! That's yeah, bro, it's food inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, yeah, smacking. Smack. You're nah, nah, I'm my boy. Nah, y'all my oh, niggas. So I fuck with y'all, but Marma <laughs> on bread. You're a different breed, homie. I thought grilled cheese could get bad. Why even three? Nah, I'm not trying to cut ass or cut bad niggas, bro. Nah, nah, man. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I fuck with y'all. You have to be on YouTube to know that. Like, that is crazy. Niggas really be having Marmite challenges. Like, there's a reason for that. Marma, you really gotta have a taste for that. Like, like, should, like grow up. <laughs> I wanna see how he spread this. If this is a generous, like. But Marma is crazy. Like, <laughs> we're off Tito's too, so we're very active. Favorite, quite salty. Marmite is crazy. It's just really comforting. Yeah, especially like, nah, I like tart. Yeah, word. You put it on before, though, but look, he has some shit on it. Like butter. 
some my body and more I have very vivid memories of eating my mind on toast, particularly when I was feeling a bit sick. I had an operation when I was three years old. I went under general anesthetic. When I woke up, the nurse said, is there anything we can get you? And my first request was my mind on toast. My favorite comfort food is katia or Thai noodle soup. Safety. Thai noodle soup is the <laughs> Thai equivalent of what a deli sandwich is. That looks good. I fuck with soup crazy. Each Good order so to be your own. Mind yeah, that's mad. That's mad. Um, what's them shit called? Ramen. Ah. Real ramen. Oh, that's mad. Oh, like um, oh, the, the mushroom shits? Not like the green. Nah, I forgot what it's called. Fuck. Oh, spring onion. Oh, yeah. Scallops. I was gonna say scallops, scallops. too. I was scallops. See, I was gonna say scallops. It's one of those. Scallops. It's the green. Scallops. Scallops. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was gonna like say that. scallops is fish. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm smack. Yeah, that's that little circle shit. Which is good too. Nah, I'm shit. I, I be like sometimes. Not, not when it's me right here. Yeah. Nah, yeah, they be blacking with the with the proportions of those. But hold on, let me just pause this real quick. Let me just put this in. You know? Not me. All right. Get it. Scout. You customize each good meal order to be your own. My order is good meal fat. So duck noodle soup with cinnamon, which are the rice noodles that are thinner than the ones you have in pho. And I only will eat in this one noodle shop, and I refuse to have it elsewhere because they just make it so special. And it sucks because I can't really replicate that experience in any Thai restaurant here since they don't really specialize in that. My favorite comfort food. Yo, we gotta pause on that. Adipas are cornmeal patties. They're typically made with salt. Wait, what is this again? What is this? Colombia. Adipas are cornmeal patties. Cornmeal patties. Cornmeal. Say word to niggas be using cornmeal for patties. That look nah. I've had fried corn. That's like some Puerto Rican shit. Word to. I hope it's not on you. It's like fried cornmeal. What's cornmeal though? See, yeah, I asked this before. Meal, niggas have corn. cornmeal porridge. Meal? That's corn. Cornmeal porridge. Nah, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> that's, what's meal, that's corn? Meal. Um, yeah, that's basically like it's like the grains of corn, right? Pretty much. I don't want to say that and look at on camera. <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically, basically it. technically what it is like. Hey Siri, what's sense. cornmeal? What you said kind of makes sense. To me. Hey Siri, what's cornmeal? Okay, I found this on the web for what's cornmeal. You're supposed to tell me, cornmeal. nigga. I'm assuming cornmeal porridge. Do you think that was fucking plain? Oh no, I would not eat that. Because <laughs> <laughs> that shit is mad, like. <laughs> it's like, it's one of those, like. like oh, nah, you gotta eat crazy. You, you gotta know how to eat <laughs> the texture. <laughs> yeah, you gotta cook that shit down or something. Arepa. Nah, because that don't look like cornmeal. This is my favorite comfort food. Mm. When I was a kid, like a my dad and I didn't have much. He's getting rolls out at all. Mm. 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 So by the time we would get home, I was already sleeping, and we wouldn't see each other until the weekend. At the weekend, their favorite family time activity was to make arepas. It was also the first meal I learned how to make. So we're gathered in our tiny kitchen, mold them together, mm. put in the stove top, and then once they were ready and hot, I it with the butter on top, sprinkle it with a little bit of cheese, and it was delicious. And it's still one of my favorites. Mean, sprinkle a little bit of cheese. Um, what do you mean? And then once they were ready and hot, I it with the butter on top, sprinkle it with a little bit of cheese. And it was delicious. That like a fucking... Like a pancake. Yeah, it looked like a fucking... An English muffin. Mmm. But like... With cheese in the middle. Yeah, it's like made out of cornmeal. Yeah. Okay. It might be that. Oh, I think that's all that's important. I hope you're doing right. Oh, no. Shut up. Shut up. I feel like I see him before. I know you. That's what I was going to tell you though. Pastel is... But I don't like Yukon. That shit is tight. I've actually had that before. That shit's good. Pastelis is fire. I like pastelis. But the juice. I, I don't know. I thought they were going to show chicken rice and beans. I would have been. Nah, this is not comfortable. That's not comfortable. That's, that's like a general spin. <laughs> Niggas said chicken rice. I thought they was going to do the corn. I'll eat that for the rest of my life. Pastelis, I guess. That shit. Side, that shit scrumptious, delicious. I forgot how you can taste. Puerto Rican pasteles de yuca. In Spanish, you call it a masa, like a doughy kind of thing that has like you can put stuff in it. So you can put like meat, chicken, you can put vegetables, and then they wrap it around a banana leaf and then they boil it. I guess we already eat pasta de yuca then. Three days to make. It's my favorite like kind a, of food because Puerto Rican tamales. Nah, that shit is fire. Them, they sit around, we talk. It's like the same as like the um, um, 
was the, the Mexican one? Tamale shit. Exactly. Like, this is like a Puerto Rican tamale. Yeah. They're making this dish that is so reminiscent of. Uh, I got them in my fridge. fridge. My comfort food is salmon. It's a thin flatbread, almost like pizza, that's enjoyed in and around the Middle East. It's typically made by taking small dough balls and flattening them into really thin pieces and then it's topped with beef or lamb, some vegetables and spices and then it's cooked That's in the oven for show. just a few minutes. My family and I- Oh shit, she wrapped that bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> she rolled that shit like a scroll, nigga. She yonked it. She yonked that shit. She killing that shit right now. Thin crust pizza to a whole lot. She eat a dozen or so of them from a little bit. She living a god that thing. You put the right toppings on that. They make them really tasty. My comfort food is ají de gallina. It's a um, spicy chicken mixture that my grandma used to make all the time. A yellow pepper that's on a brew. This mixed with uh, you saute some onions, uh, then you're gonna add some chicken broth, milk, and crackers or bread. Uh, it's a nice little paste sauce. And then with uh, some boiled chicken that you shredded. Ajigaina reminds me of just Peru in general living there. My grandfather had 50, uh, 80 chickens, and my grandma would just grab one. And it would be fresh. I'm Busy Pakistani, and my favorite comfort food is a dish called Ankit Tarkari. Um, the reason I love this dish so much is because it's a curry. Uh, it's very carby as opposed to what we lots of gravy. My mum usually adds to it aloo, potatoes, mitch, chili, namak, salt, haldi, turmeric, and then she adds something called bhajbaran, which is a blend of five spices. You blend the spices, you fry them, you add your chocolate potatoes, add water, boil the water off and let the potatoes break up. It's really heartwarming, very flavoursome. And it also reminds me of oh, it's just potatoes with a whole bunch of spices now. That's some shit. And it's a group with my nanny, my mom's mom, who passed away a few years back. My two favorite Brazilian comfort foods are cheese bread and feijoada. For cheese bread, there's definitely not an indication. It's just everywhere, all the time. Uh, you can eat it at any time of the day. It's without a doubt the food that I miss the most because it's just the perfect snack. Feijoada is basically a giant black bean soup. It's definitely something that I grew up eating and it's very um, iconic in Brazil. Almost everyone eats it. My favorite comfort That's like food. cheesy what? bread with some black bean soup sauce. Fuck it. Dip your bread in there and get right. Shit. Mix it, throw some, the some, fire some, cheesy some bread. pork in there. Some some fire. Tea, which is fava beans. And it's usually served hot. And it's really easy to make, so that's why we make it all the time. It contains tomatoes, onions, some people put tahina in it, and we put in it a lot of spices. Usually people eat it with pita bread. It's my favorite comfort food because over the summer my grandpa would make it for breakfast a lot, so we'd make up and be there. So it reminds me a lot of home. As social beings, social distancing may not be easy. Let's do what we can and make the most of it by enjoying our favorite comfort foods. Let us know what your favorite comfort food is and why in the comments. Chopped cheese, ketchup and mayonnaise. Pardon me? Um, but yeah. Honey, turkey, nigga, then dash the eggs, tomatoes, salt, salt, pepper, input cheese, oil, vinegar. What's going on with that? Goes berserk. And if you goes. Hey, which one was your favorite? Um, not the New York one, I'll tell you that. Not the New York one. Not the Puerto Rican one. Huh? Probably. I definitely fucked with the beef. I want to give it to the the beef yeah, patty. Probably the Dominican Republic one. Fucked with the beef patty, you know the red. Oh, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Dominican Republic one, yeah. I should look brown. Probably a couple more in there. I wouldn't even fuck around and try. No cap. Uh, but yeah, y'all yeah, tell us which one was the worst, the best. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. We finna. Um. Yeah. Three minutes left on this SD card. About to change this, but um, it's popping. So I'm like, I'm subscribed 50,000 real soon. Got some more announcements to give out. Y'all see the content's been going crazy, been going for a week, but we back and better with some vlogs. Only tell the people what's popping. This nigga trying to get out. This nigga, this nigga got stage fright, but listen, y'all did subscribe. Safety, man. Share the feed.